Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, I thought, hey, we're coming back off a trade show right now. And I just put the truss back up here in the office, got a couple extra pieces around here too. And I thought, hey, why not give you a quick, easy guide on how to assemble DJ style truss? Now, uh, it might seem really simple and all the stuff typically comes in the box that you need, but there's some tips and tricks that can really help you and really remove a lot of frustration for you because these things, if you try to put them together wrong, can drive you insane. Or if you use the wrong hammer, they'll drive you insane over time. And so we don't want to do that. So the anatomy, a typical style DJ style truss that we see, and this could be um, Global Truss, Gamma Truss, Trust from Chave, uh, many, many brands, is a spigoted type truss, okay? So it has in the end here holes, and the standard size, kind of the standard square truss is what this is, is called 290 truss. It's 290 millimeters square. It's about 11 inches, a little bigger than that. And so you've got holes in the end. And you've got what we often call footballs, these guys, that then would insert into the holes so that you can attach two pieces together. Now, there's some really important stuff when it comes, even before you take out the hammer, when it comes to truss like this. Okay, first is the football itself and the receiver in the truss. So if I go and I grab my hammer, we'll talk about my hammer in a minute. We'll grab, we'll grab that, but we'll grab a pin and a clip. We're going to see a couple things about this football that are really important. Okay, the first is it's unidirectional. It's a one-way deal. So there is a larger hole and a smaller hole, and the pin is tapered as well. Okay, meaning that the pin only goes in through one way, which is outside of the truss, okay, towards the inside, right? So I insert this here. Pin goes from outside to inside. Now, it's not going in. Okay, why is it not going in? Well, if you get the football backwards, okay, it's not going to go through all the way. Okay, so if you have, even if you're going out to in with the pin, and you've got this football backwards, see that I push through, it's not even coming close to going through on the other side. I've watched people grab their hammer and just be wailing on it. Why won't it go through? And uh, that could be why. It could be exactly backwards. So with these pins, especially when this truss is new, um, you're always going to be able to, if the truss is new and it's on a level surface, you'll be able to put in the four footballs, attach your second piece of truss, and start pinning things through. And if you're on a flat surface with truss that hasn't been banged up, you're going to be able to get most of the pins through with just your fingers. Or it's going to be really close, and then you can drop the clip into the pin. Okay, and so that's really key as well. Now, when it comes to truss like this, you're never going to be able to pin all four pins on a given truss junction with it laying on the ground like this. Okay, so if you can, you know, going like this, right? Put in my four sets of footballs, pop my next piece up. I know my four footballs are not in. Right, insert pins, tap it in with the hammer, good to go. Now, what kind of hammer are we using? We're using a brass hammer, okay? Aluminum pins, brass hammer. Your typical hammer, while it may look like the right tool, will beat up your pins over the long haul. It'll smash them because it's harder than the uh, aluminum, but the brass is softer. At least that's what they tell us, okay? <laughs> um, what else? So um, if you have to lay it down, you're gonna have to spin it as you go. So that's really key, all right? Um, what's next? Bases, okay. So bases and corner blocks with DJ style truss can be interesting. For example, the corners that we have here have these little pieces that allow you to adjust how, what direction the corners go. Because ultimately, as I drop a pin, there's about six sides to a corner, right? It's a square. If you have a corner that is adjustable like this, you'll have these half of the footballs that you can use an Allen wrench to tighten down onto the corner to determine which ways you allow connection and which ways are slick. A very similar process is going to happen with bases. Bases, base plates, will have something very similar to this, um, often reconfigurable, that will just have a, a flat Allen head on the bottom where you can unscrew it, tighten it up, make sure it's going the right direction. The biggest keys, again, with all of this is make sure that 
your pins going through the proper way, outside to inside, larger hole on the outside, smaller hole on the inside. Okay, and if you do all those things, you'll be able to put together pieces of this DJ truss safely without a ton of uh, frustration and just be able to have a great event. Now, a couple quick truss safety tips while we're here, um, just for you to be aware of. You know, anytime you're building something like an arch, like we're building behind us here, you do want to engineer it just as you're putting it together so that you are taking something, maybe you take your uprights, you know, if you don't have a lot of helpers, maybe just one other helper, take your uprights, get them standing up. Some people would go upright with the corner, right? Upright with the corner and then lift this piece up and try to kind of, you know, jam it in and then hammer it. The best solution is always to think about gravity. How can gravity help you best? If I do like I did here, do these two uprights, boom, do the corners, two corners with the piece straight across, then I can get somebody to help me. We can set it into place. It's able to sit on top of there securely. Well, not securely, but it's gonna be safe enough to sit up there and then we can insert the pins and the clips, etc. Now, disassembly is going to be the exact opposite, but the same kind of deal. So you're gonna take your piece of truss, right? And, uh, you know, put it down on your table or wherever you have it, right? The biggest key is whether it's straight up and down or whether you're laying it down, make sure it's on as flat of a surface as possible because if truss is crooked, then your pins don't line up, okay? And you find yourselves going, hey, why won't it line up? You know, hammer, 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 hammer. Why won't it line up? And, and sometimes it just takes somebody on the other end, just giving it a little push one way or the other to even that out because it's not lined up right. Okay, same thing goes when you are undoing truss. You're gonna pull your pin, right? Grab your hammer, get it inside the truss, tap outwards, right? Nice and easy. If it doesn't go easy, then something else is going on. Be careful when you're knocking pins out in a, in truss. Um, these can go flying, so be aware of that. And when you're done, you know, everybody's got different storage solutions. I usually leave footballs in. You could take them out, uh, put them in a toolbox, and get them going. But whatever you do, hopefully, after watching this short video, you found an easier, better way to put together this style truss for your next event. Or if you're brand new to this, you don't have any trust, you're thinking about getting some, then head over to Above AVL, Learn Stage Lighting Gear, that's us, but we're kind of moving towards the new name as we carry more and more stuff. And we would love to help you at Above AVL, Learn Stage Lighting Gear. So if you're looking for trust, reach out, grab a quote. Trust often requires freight shipping, so we quote it out individually, but you can buy it through the site. Whatever you do, we'd love to help you find exactly what you need so that you can start making awesome events or make the events you have more awesome. If that sounds good, thanks so much for watching. See you over at Above AVL, we're in stage lighting gear, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.